The biggest madman in Hollywood is, of course, Tom Cruise. He has seemingly, at the age of 60, 60 plus now, continues to find ways to up the stakes, up the risk, up the danger. I mean, he went from climbing the side of the world's tallest building, which that was adorable, <laughs> to literally <laughs> hanging on to the side of a jet that takes off and flies into the sky, which was charming. Then he does the, the what, what do they call it, the twilight jump? Is that what they call it? Yeah, those halo jumps. Halo yeah. jump, that's it, not the twilight jump. Yes, that's something totally well, the halo jumps at twilight. Yeah, twilight jumps at twilight. Yeah. Twilight. That's yeah. how, and then even in that mummy movie, he has this incredible scene. Like, whatever you think about the mummy, that mummy movie that Tom Cruise did, he has this incredible scene where they're in the plane, and they literally take that plane up to the edge of the atmosphere and do... Absolute zero gravity, so to where they're going around. It, he does craziest stuff. Well, anyway, we've got Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1 coming up. And they have now started, they're putting now the gas pedal down on starting to rev up the promo. And I don't know if you got some images there, yeah. Jonathan, but Tom Cruise, they put out a couple. First of all, there was this one that he put out. I believe he posted this on his social media, where he's literally hanging off the edge, I think, of a helicopter. Helicopter or some little plane beside who he calls McHugh or Christopher McQuarrie, the yeah. writer and director of Mission Impossible. And he literally just, hey, guys. And then he jumps out of the plane. And as he's falling to earth, he's just talking to everybody. So, hey, guys, thanks so much for supporting Top Gun. Uh, we've got this new movie coming out. Thank you for letting us entertain you and doing this crazy stuff. And then also they released the uh, feature you guys who watched us with our CinemaCon coverage back in April, you guys remember we talked about this bonkers 10-minute feature they did just on this motorcycle stunt. And they did this like mini documentary on how they put together this motorcycle stuff. It is insane. It is absolutely insane. Like you think, oh, okay, yeah, do motorcycle. Guys, you got to see this thing. It's absolutely crazy this it's about 10 minutes long or what does it say they're nine minutes and 22 seconds long it is so worth going and checking out that thing has now come out they're putting the foot down on getting this thing going and i gotta tell you just from these stupid little listen i don't get excited about movies from little featurettes like trailers can get you excited featurettes are interesting but these two things are just made me go that's crazy by the way since we're talking about tom cruise i thought i'd share this thing there's a um, a well-known thing in hollywood called the Tom Cruise Christmas cake. You've probably heard, seen Henry Cavill talk about it and others, that the people Tom Cruise works with to make movies, he will send out every year a Christmas cake. Well, today, I happen to have a Tom Cruise Christmas cake. I, I don't even know if I can, how do I get this box open? I'm not gonna do this right. It's in here, you just have to take my word for it. It's in there, there it is. Unfortunately, it's a coconut cake, so I can't eat it because I really don't like the taste of coconut, but maybe you guys can have a bite. Oh, but, I definitely want yeah. a bite. So the, now some of you, as Rob was asking me, wait a minute, how did you get the Tom Cruise Christmas cake? Well, I, I will tell you how I came into possession of the Tom Cruise Christmas cake this year. We actually had, I haven't got the permissions to say who they are, so I won't, but we actually had uh, some some friends come over Friday night, Ann and I, who uh, worked with Tom Cruise and worked with Tom Cruise, and they decided to bring they, of course, received the Tom Cruise Christmas cake, so they decided to bring it along. Thought we'd bring, thought we'd bring this for the party. So I thought I would show you guys. we got the Tom Cruise Christmas cake here. Anyway, <laughs> Rob, I know you have been crazy excited for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, even before CinemaCon. Yes. But then at CinemaCon, they showed us a bunch of stuff, including this insane mini documentary of Tom freaking Cruise flying off a cliff. <laughs> I don't know. What did you think about the stuff we saw? Well, you know, I, I saw it again in IMAX 3D, and they had it. I don't know if they post-converted it or not, but it was in front of Avatar 2. And seeing it on the IMAX screen was insane. And then I watched it again. The version that's online is longer than the version they showed in IMAX screen. They showed all the buildup to it, like when they were when he's learning how to ride the motorcycle and he was doing, like, he did 500 jumps and all that. I mean, dude. Uh, first of all, I think since Chris McQuarrie has taken over the Mission Impossible franchise with Rogue Nation and Fallout, that they have outbonded Bond. And I never would have thought that that would be the case. And I, I think that Dead Reckoning, we've only seen De Dead Reckoning Part 1, between the stunt and everything we've seen from the movies, 
I mean, they give me, they have figured out a way to update the Bond formula in a way that the James Bond franchise itself hasn't been able to do. And of course, Cruz has referenced that Bond is a huge influence. Oh on, yeah, on absolutely. Those films, films as well. And yeah. and I I really love love the films. And I again, Chris Chris McQuarrie, you know, he peaked really early in his career. Like he got won an Academy Award for The Usual Suspects that he wrote in '95, and and then he made Way of the Gun, and 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 kind of he wrote a lot of things, but he didn't he didn't get he was always destined to become a director. You know, and I know him a little bit. And he's a really really smart guy and to see what him and tom cruise they worked together first on valkyrie and because i think is tom cruise's most underrated terrific film. i think it's a terrific film and since then they've developed this relationship and and it's great to see that kind of synergy between a a mega star and a director because you see chris mccory has been his he's rewritten most of tom cruise's material he was a producer on um top gun maverick rewrote that script and now you know they've done this will be the third and fourth mission impossible movies they've done together and i think that it's it's we're getting i mean as film goers the, their collaboration has been nothing short of miraculous and i love it and to see what they're doing together man come on bring it up i can't wait the, the, at the end of this featurette chris mccory says well the only thing like when i'm done shooting this the only thing only, that scares me more well, the only thing that scares me more is what we're doing for mission impossible 8. which looks like it might involve a train I think that's in this one too. Oh, is that in this one too? I, I that, thought maybe they were giving us a no, little. No, the train's in Dead Reckoning One. Okay, well, there, yeah. So when he says, because I remember that at CinemaCon, he says the only thing that scares me more than the stunt we're doing is what we have planned for Mission Impossible Eight. Or I mean, is Dead he going to dive? Is he going to orbit dive from the ISS? He's literally going to wrestle a shark. Like he's literally going to wrestle a shark. Anyway, Chris, you had a chance. I mean, we saw the one feature at, at CinemaCon, which just blew us all yeah. away. We now see this other thing uh, with the Tom Cruise jumping out of the helicopter. It's not even a trailer, but they're starting to ramp up the excitement for this. What did you think about what we saw? Well, the one just thank you one, first of all, let's talk about that, of how at ease he is falling out of that plane. Where oh he's just like, oh, huh, even anyway. he's falling, he's just like, just he's smiling. Like hey guys, so I just wanted to say, you know, thanks, I'll see you at the so movies. This has been falling. fun. Uh, I should really kind of commit to what I'm doing though. What? I get nervous when I'm walking near something that has a low railing. Like, Tom Cruise, <laughs> you're a wild man. Good for you. This one looks awesome, you know? I, I love that, how you phrase that, outbonding bond. Because really, when you think about how they've upped the ante on all these stunts over the last few years, it really is incredible stuff. And the fact that Tom Cruise commits to doing it all of himself just floors me. Gosh, their insurance must be bananas. But I think Ray was going to jump out of his skin because oh, he was yeah, so yeah. excited about I, I just wanted to say, I can't concentrate right now. Can I have some of that cake? Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> By the way, I, I managed, I got the box open. So if you, there, there it is. There's the, uh, the Tom Cruise Christmas cake. So I wonder yeah. if I have special powers after I eat some. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes, you will be jumping out of planes. <laughs> Save me, Tom And piloting your own fighter jets. Now, the thing about that is he, if you've worked with him, he sends those to you, even if he worked with you 20 years ago. Yeah. I remember seeing Kirsten Dunst, I think on Graham Norton, talking about getting Christmas cakes even today. Yeah, after wow. working with him on, on Interview with the yeah, Vampire yeah. like 25 years ago. And, and the, like it's become a thing in their family. Did the did the cruise cake arrive? You know, they make it I love, I, first of all, that's sweet. How yeah. cool is it that Tom Cruise does that? Oh, I, that it's. It's pretty special. That's like a real I, I move. look, you you can think what you want about Tom Cruise, and I certainly have some thoughts about Tom Cruise away from the movie industry and whatever, sure. and that that's fine and fair. But if you're going to talk about Tom Cruise, the movie personality, and how he conducts business, and like beyond being the nutty, crazy guy who does his own stunts, like the way he does business, the way he tries to protect his crew, like all that kind of stuff, you, you got to have a lot of respect for the guy. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Have you had a chance to see these featurettes on Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning? And it just seems like the older, he's getting to his 60s and he's getting crazier still. This nutty stuff that Tom Cruise is doing. Whatever you guys think, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Manscaped. This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Everyone loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about your new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim up your pumpkins by going to manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA for free shipping and 20% 
20% off. And this year I am so thankful for Manscaped because like most of you guys, I used to use Neanderthalic Dark Age methods to trim my balls. Not anymore, thanks to Manscaped. It's time for all of us to give thanks to Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Inside, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, Crop Preserver ball deodorant, Crop Reviver toner, Performance Boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold all your goodies. The heart of the package, their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the promo code CAMPIA. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank you.